Brian here with HelpSellMyRV.com out of Louisville, Kentucky, where all RVs are for sale by owner. I'm going to do a walk around on this 2018 Rockwood Mini Light 2507S fully loaded travel trailer with the Murphy bed. Overall exterior length is 25 feet, 9 inches, and the exterior height to the 13,500 BTU ducted AC unit is 10 feet, 11 inches, and the unloaded vehicle weight or the dry weight is 5,393 pounds. Perfect for a half ton truck. This is a one owner camper. The only reason why the owner is selling it, because they are done RVing. Give you an idea of the floor plan here. I did set up the Murphy bed for video purposes, but when that bed is up, there is a jackknife sleeper sofa, an ultra leather jackknife sleeper sofa up underneath it. And if you're looking at the listing, there are pictures that I took with the bed up and obviously set down, set up just like we have it right now. Let's start off. Uh, let's start off in the slide out. Slide out's going to accommodate the huge U-shaped boot dinette, ultra leather finish on the fabrics. Excellent condition. Uh, I rate this whole trailer excellent condition. Any dealer would definitely agree with me. I'm going to try to show you off all the storage, all the good stuff. There's a lot of extras the owners did with this. Uh, tire pressure monitors that. Uh, basically you can monitor while you're driving uh, a leveling system that hooks up to your Bluetooth backup camera uh, there's your monitor I'm gonna try to point out all that stuff yeah all right and spin around here to the kitchen area it's gonna be a six cubic foot gas electric refrigerator whether you're boondocking or hooked up to shore power turn it on a couple hours later later you're good to go with a cold fridge owner said they turned it on this morning and it's already cold here's your Dometic badge there microwave we are hooked up to 110 I do like to always show that the digital readouts working that's a pretty neat idea to keep the uh, glass uh, tray from falling out looks like a little noodle Cool noodle. Uh, stereo here is going to be Bluetooth capable and smart device ready. Uh, you can hook up, uh, it looks like a USB charging and all the good stuff. So DVD, CD. Uh, you do have a Wi Fi Ranger on this extender, and there is something that the owners did uh, to boost that. So that's another feature that the owners did. 32 inch flat screen by Furion. There's that Furion badge there. It is on a pivoting arm. Oh, little tray they put here. <laughs> little DVD player goes right there. Delta faucet. This is not the factory faucet. This is another upgrade that they did. They weren't happy with the quality of the faucet, so they went out and got a Delta faucet. And undermounted sink. Huge double bowl undermounted sink. With covers for more counter space. Solid surface countertops, by the way. In this line of camper, a lot of times you might get a foil wrap or a Formica, and this is a solid surface countertop. Cabinets, uh, I believe the finish on these are going to be some kind of a glazed maple with brushed nickel hardware. Kind of show that off there. Full length ball, metal ball bearing drawer guys. Uh, pots and pans drawer up underneath the oven there. Uh, the oven, almost passed up the oven in the three burner cooktop. Oven looks like it's never been used. Looks like to be about the 22 inch ovens, which is usually the largest in the industry. Three burner gas cooktop. Front burner usually is a high output. Nice glass lid for more counter space. Oh, yeah, while well, I'm in here, just in case I forget, this is that Bluetooth leveling. That the owners added on this was a pretty expensive little feature and it uh, ties into your smart device and while you're driving uh you, you can or i'm sorry when you're leveling up uh this thing tells you if you're level you don't need a big long level anymore so there's technology for you your murphy, murphy bed sleeping area obviously it's all set up queen bed and that may be a heated mattress but they do have an ultra plush it's about a four inch uh memory foam on top of the mattress that's extremely comfortable nice curtain for privacy closets on each side of the bed I do check all closets corners uh, nooks anywhere that I think 
water might be able to get in. I always check for any wrinkling. Did not find any issues. Just kind of look up in the corners and look for anything that looks odd. And I do check for delamination. The bubbling on the outside of the camper did not find any issues. I do want to point out you do have ducted AC all throughout and they have louvers that you can adjust which is neat and you do have the quick dump feature on your AC unit it's by Coleman show up the Coleman badge there quick dump once you get to a campground open up the quick dump cools off your camper real quick and once it's cooled off shut this off and you have decked it AC all throughout oh I almost forgot the owner has upgraded a lot of the uh, charging stations. He wasn't happy with the charging station ports, so he switched them all out, or actually had somebody switch them out, an electrician, and uh, uh, especially the outlets, too. Stuff that uh, most owners don't do, but uh, these owners are very meticulous. More than me. I do want to show off the fascia on the slide out. Rockwood did a great job on this camper. Thermostat is also upgraded. This is not the a factory thermostat. The owners were not happy with the, they said it was about seven degrees off. So they upgraded this thermostat. So I would put this Rockwood up against any 2018 Rockwood 2507S travel trailer all day long. And walking into the rear bathroom, another upgrade the owners did. LED lights with full adjusting. There we go. That's definitely neat. Nice vanity area. And oh, by the way, not just a mirror, it's a medicine cabinet. Foot flush china toilet. Factory was the plastic. And uh, the owners obviously didn't like plastic, so they upgraded. Nice corner shower, glass enclosed. With skylight. Again, lots of storage on this floor plan. LED lights all throughout, outside, inside, saves you on your battery. Look at this. More storage. Now this is going to be above the outside kitchen. I'll show you, but huge storage. No storage wasted. Oh, nice little light up here. Very convenient. All right. closet here. This big closet by the way. Looks to be another table there collapsed away. Oh, look, a little light. There you go. All sorts of light on this camper. All right. Your central command here basically uh, tells you where you are on your camper, battery, uh, fully charged, fresh water tank, I believe fresh water is 43 gallon, your black tank which is your toilet is 30 gallon, and your gray tank which is your sink and your shower, that's 30 gallon. Water pump switch, easy to figure out. Six gallon gas electric, direct spark ignition water heater, these are your switches right here. Flip it on whether you're boondocking or hooked up to shore power, 15 minutes later you have hot water. You do have tank heaters on this, 12 volt tank pad. Uh, tank heater pads and uh, keeps your uh, holding tanks nice and snug and this is an enclosed and heated underbelly so that's definitely nice uh, awning button slide out button uh, these are your lights easy to figure out another 110 outlet there your furnace is ducted all the way through and they not, the vents are not in the floor they're in the side so it doesn't get all dirty uh, and your furnace is going to be a large I believe a 35,000 BTU furnace on this have to double check and you do have 110 outlets on each side of the bed in case somebody has a sleep at machine. Yeah, let's show it to you. See? And of course, the charging station for your smone and, uh, phone and smart devices. All right, let's go outside. Back up here, this is the uh, colored fiberglass phylon. The colors pretty much bled all the way through the fiberglass, so if you scratch it, the color stays. And uh, uh, see if I can show off that color there for you and yeah that's a 
They're calling it a high gloss. It almost looks like a gel coat. I did check for water damage uh, on the outside, and usually I pan down the side, look for any bubbling. Did not find any issues. This is 100%. All right, your front automotive glass on the front here, that's the, up by the Murphy bed. Definitely a neat concept. And again, the tent, I believe the tent is gonna be darker than an 80% tent. There's your Rockwood mini light badge there. There's no fading on any of the uh, decals. Diamond plating for protecting your front from rock debris. This is another added feature the owners did. Uh, this is for their fishing uh, poles. So anyway, that's another thing they've done. Looks like a little generator rack on the front here. Not sure if that was an option or not, uh, but uh, anyway. Power hitch jack, that was an option. Two 30 pound LP tanks with cover. That was probably part of a package or an option. You do have the heavy duty manual stabilizer jacks. These are the ones you want. As I say, the little electric ones are just rinky dink with my experience. There's your enclosed underbelly. So you can go into colder seasons if you want. You are solar prepped. Yeah, back up here. I'm not sure what size they're calling the awning. I think it was uh, about an 18 footer power awning. All the LED lights are working. LED lights are up against the wall here, so when the, the awning's actually in, you still have patio lights. Another feature the owners did, it's a motion detector uh, night light here, and it's uh, solar. Exterior marine style speakers there, and oh, your frameless tinted windows. Man, that's a big deal on this, okay. A lot of your lights uh, won't have the frameless tinted windows, or I, I like to call them bus style windows. Easy to clean, a lot cleaner look. This is an area where you can put your TV if you want. A uh, little area here, you can hang your grill. There's your grill here. Gas grill hookup right there. And hooking up your TV, 110 outlet there. T uh, your tires are all gonna be new. Uh, well, I'm sorry, they were changed out. The owners did not like the uh, factory tires, which usually aren't the best on most manufacturers on travel trailers. So they upgraded to Goodyear's. Let's see if I can show off. There we go. A little manufacturing date. A little four digit code right there, usually by the rim on the outside of the tire there. 4918, so that's the 49th week of 2018 when these tires were made. And they are the Endurance, Goodyear Endurance. Check them out. Definitely 10 times better than factory trailer tires. Ton of stuff. Oh man, well, I'm, I'm almost forgetting. There's your digital um, uh, tire uh, monitor for uh, tire pressure. That's definitely cool. See, there's your little monitors there. This trailer is definitely one of a kind. Outside kitchen with a 3.5 cubic foot reefer on the outside here. That's electric. Two burner gas cooktop. Nice sink and that may have its own holding tank. Maybe it might just go into the 30 gallon uh, gray tank. LED light, let's turn that off. And this stows away nice and clean. You get the idea. All right, on the rear, as I said, this is fully loaded. It's got the uh, uh, spare tire with mount or carrier ladder to get up on your walk-on roof. Ladder usually is an option. And there's your backup camera. Outside shower, black tank sewer flush. Flushes out your toilet so you don't have to drag a hose inside anymore. All your lights are all LED. Let's back up here, kind of show it off. You do have max air vent covers on top, so you can open up your vents while it's raining and not worry about water getting in. Well, the owners added one on the front. Thirty amp service. Here's your thirty amp power marine style cord, and you do have an LED light here to show you that you have shore power coming in. City water hookup. These are all your hookups and winterizing right here. 
cable, satellite, uh, hook up there. This is your service panel for your six gallon gas electric direct spark ignition water heater. There's your hookups for your sewer hose. Oh, aluminum alloy wheels. Forgot to point that out. And uh, they are, uh, I think they're 15s. No, 14s. 14 inch aluminum alloy wheel, torsion, axles, which is an independent suspension basically. Rides smoother down the road, not feeling every bump. Does have the slide out awning package. That slide out, usually I give the length, it's going to be good, probably eight foot long and three foot deep. That's a deep slide out. It's going to be about three foot. Compartment doors here with magnets. I always say it, should have done it a long time ago. This is a little thing that they do. The owners have constructed to put the slide out so that they know how far it comes out so that they don't hit a tree. Definitely neat. You should patent that. I don't know what you could put in there. Maybe some fishing poles or something. I'm guessing they did that. They're meticulous, the owners are. I haven't showed off the decals. See, here we go. They're in excellent shape. I like to call them the badge. Yeah. All right. Let's show off some of this garage storage. This is up underneath the Murphy bed. Huge storage. Gravity water fill, as I said, this is your freshwater holding tank, I believe 43 gallon. And this is a little, I asked what this green light was. I think this was to the uh, tire pressure monitor. I think I got everything. I hope I did. Uh, the owners did a ton of stuff to this. After the fact, I think they said they added like $2,000 worth of stuff on this thing after they bought it. Anyway, oh, it, I do want to point this out. It's all aluminum frame. Six-sided aluminum frame construction. Uh, oh, grab handle. Yeah, I think I got everything. Anyway, if I didn't, I do apologize to the, to the owners uh, and all y'all out there. Uh, anyway, if you want to come and see the camper, call the number on the ad or you can call 502-645-3124. If you liked this video, I'd appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up on YouTube. And if you want to keep up to date on RVs coming for sale by owner in the Louisville, Kentucky area, you can always follow Help Sell My RV.com on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube.